Hey guys, welcome back to the farm. Today we are going to start, I guess, uh, second cot silage. So I'm going to grease up this mower and we're going to start by cutting some of our oats. Um, so we planted, I have no-tilled some oats into the former corn ground earlier in the year and that's uh, ready to cut now. So we're going to cut that and then maybe tomorrow or the next day we'll cut some alfalfa uh, to mix with it when we put it in the silo. At least that's the plan. So yeah, better get started here. I guess we'll do a cliche time-lapse type uh, video greasing this thing. So here we go. All right, that's the mower greased up. Let's set out mowing. Well, I just discovered a problem. I was trying to figure out why this hitch was kind of pushing this way. It was all out of whack. It was lifted up too high too. But I think you guys can probably see the problem there. I'm not exactly sure what happened. Uh, my uncle mowed with it yesterday and it wasn't like that when I had it. So. It doesn't really matter, it'll have to be fixed. I'm gonna have to switch tractors though. I don't have time to fix it right now. Well guys, I finally made it out here mowing. Uh, I'm actually on the second field now. I did mow the first one. Boy, is there a lot of deer flies buzzing around my head right now. So we're mowing the oats. As you can see here, they're actually a little bit too far ahead. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's kind of just the way it is. Seems to be a recurring theme. We wait uh, until it's too late. What? No, no, it's not too bad. A few days ago, like maybe two or three days ago, it uh, was actually probably time to cut. But uh, yeah, I'm not gonna make excuses or nothing. But uh, we're out here today cutting. So anyway, like I said, we're gonna mix this with some alfalfa in the silo. We'll just do like load for load or whatever, putting it in and uh should be all right so 6280 that's working good um kind of missed the closed center hydraulics on the white got a little bit more flow on that tractor a little bit faster uh so it takes a little bit of getting used to just it's kind of funny but just when you get used to mowing like you know exactly when to pull the lever at the end of the end of the you know grass or whatever to lift it up and uh, you know this one here is just a little bit slower than the white is, so it kind of takes a, a little bit of thinking to, uh, to do it. You know, you got to slow down a little bit sooner or whatever. But other than that, it's working pretty good. I had the hoses backwards for the angle of the mower, the drawbar. That kind of screwed me up this morning, but I got that sorted out now. They were pretty ferocious, but anyway, yeah, so this is the last uh, field of oats that I planted earlier in the year. Um, uh, I don't know what it was, I can't remember now. Yeah, I did a video on it probably, but anyway, uh, I cut the rate on this field a little bit just because I was running low on seed, so it's not, I didn't see it as heavy as the other fields like I wanted to, uh, but it still turned out all right. I didn't cut it that drastically. Uh, it's not a, a huge crop, but it's something. But I mean, you have to remember that uh, we planted the oats as a nursery crop for the alfalfa. It's underseeded with alfalfa, so that's kind of that was the main crop. Uh, the oats is just a nursery crop for that. So uh, 
really aren't that concerned, even if we get a little bit off the oats, I mean, that's fine. Um, but uh, the oats didn't grow too good in the first couple pieces. I'm not sure what happened. Um, we've just been fighting that field, those couple fields, for a while now trying to get them planted and the oats didn't really take that great either. So I guess I'll have to do some soil samples on that and see what's going on there. Uh, that stuff got a lot of weeds in it. I think we're probably going to end up uh, just blowing that back on the field. Um, so that was, I don't know how much that is, seven or eight acres or whatever, which eh, isn't a big deal. Um, like I said, it's just the oats. We'll see when it comes back, uh, when it does come back, if the alfalfa is going to grow or what. I have my doubts, but we'll see anyway. And if not, I mean, we'll have to figure it out, I guess. But, uh, Anyway, yeah, I had to turn the air conditioning off in here because the fans blow right on the microphone and uh, I gotta turn it back on because I'm gonna melt pretty soon. So I'll check in with you guys here when I'm done mowing and uh, yeah, see you then. So fast forward a couple days here now. This here is a field of alfalfa that I cut a few days ago. I don't think I did any video of that. And we raked it up here yesterday and I just finished it off today. Uh, off behind the rhino there is a field of oats. That was the first one I cut the other day. And way off in the distance there, you can see the lighter color yellow. That is the field of oats that I did the video uh, cutting there, the last clip or whatever. So dad is chopping today and what we've decided to do rather than do like load for load, uh, he's kind of going back and forth, uh, filling each load between the alfalfa and the oats so that there's a mixture on every wagon of oats and alfalfa. So uh, that is the plan anyway, that's what he's doing. And uh, yeah, so my uncle's just blowing off the first load. So we'll, uh, we're, we're well underway here, second cut silage, I guess, although the oats is technically first cut, so I'm not sure if it's first and a half cut or what. But anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look at the harvester chopping, I guess.
All right, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit uh, of an update, I guess. So the alfalfa and the oats um, that I cut, we chopped that. I think I got some video of chopping, I'm not 100% sure. <laughs> I hope I did. So that's chopped, that's in the silo. We decided to cover it. Um, maybe put in eight loads or something like that, maybe eight or 10. Um, we decided to cover it again and we're gonna leave the rest of second cut for a couple more weeks and uh, we'll put the rest of it in then. Um, we're gonna take a little bit of an intermission, I guess, for you know, a week or two. Um, we got some rain, uh, it's raining here today. It's Tuesday, the video's coming out tomorrow, so we got some rain right now. Uh, much needed rain. Uh, the ground has been super dry, everything's dry. Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a drought, but it's not far off either. It's just super dry, so. Much needed rain, um, that should help things out a bunch. So, uh, yeah, maybe next week we'll get back at second cut. I don't know, we'll see how it pans out anyway. Um, that's kind of the plan, so. Just gonna take a week and uh, you know tinker in the shop and whatnot. Thankfully, we're finally out of the heat too. Uh, the last, I don't know, week or two, it's been 30, 35 degrees, then plus the humidity on top of that. It's just been absolutely miserable. Uh, but finally here, um, yesterday wasn't too bad, and today is actually kind of cool. You pretty near need a, a shirt on, like a long sleeve or whatever, but. So thankfully, th thankfully we're finally out of the heat because that was getting to be pretty miserable. Um, really sucks the life out of you. I uh, actually drug, well, I'll show you guys later, but I actually drug the cab out for the 1394. It was over tucked in the corner of the shop and uh, I worked at it for like 15 minutes the other day and I was, you know, pooped. I couldn't do any more on it. Just too warm. Uh, but yesterday, like I said, it was a little cooler, so I got a little bit more done on it. But uh, I'll show you guys that here in a second. So... Anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, not really sure. All depends what we get done in the next week. What the next what the next video is going to be. I don't you know I don't know yet if we're going to start second cut up again or leave it for a couple you know a couple weeks. We did cover it back up again. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll just uh, take it as it comes, I guess, and see what happens. So I guess I'll show you guys this 1394 cab. I think a lot of you guys have been. Uh, itching to see me work on that so maybe I'll do a video on that um, that should help things out a bunch so uh, yeah maybe next week we'll get back at second cut I don't know we'll see how it pans out anyway um, that's kind of the plan so just gonna take a week and uh, you know tinker in the shop and whatnot thankfully we're finally out of the heat too uh, the last I don't know, a week or two, it's been 30, 35 degrees, then plus the humidity on top of that. It's just been absolutely miserable. Uh, but finally here, um, yesterday wasn't too bad, and today is actually kind of cool. You pretty near need a, a shirt on, like a long sleeve or whatever. But So thankfully, thankfully we're finally out of the heat because that was getting to be pretty miserable. Um, really sucks the life out of you. I uh, actually drug, well, I'll show you guys later, but I actually drug the cab out for the 1394. It was over tucked in the corner of the shop and uh, I worked at it for like 15 minutes the other day and I was, you know, pooped. I couldn't do any more on it. Just too warm. Uh, but yesterday, like I said, it was a little cooler, so I got a little bit more done on it, but uh, I'll show you guys that here in a second. So anyway, um, yeah, that's kind of where we're at. Uh, not really sure. All depends what we get done in the next week. What the next what the next video is going to be. I don't you know I don't know yet if we're going to start second cut up again or leave it for a couple you know a couple weeks. We did cover it back up again. So anyway, we'll uh, we'll just uh, take it as it comes, I guess, and see what happens. So I guess I'll show you guys this 1394 cab. I think a lot of you guys have been uh, itching to see me work on that. So maybe I'll do a video on that. I'll show you guys. I know I usually show you guys the whatever things I'm tinkering on in the shop. Last summer it was the uh, little 444 case, but uh, this year I drug out my old uh, Sears Suburban. Got that running again. Finally, I put an electric fuel pump on it, and I'm just trying to fix up this here fiberglass uh, nose piece that kind of holds the hood on. So I've been kind of tinkering with that. I got some new 
uh, stickers to put on it and that. So, been busy at that. Of course, the shop's a disaster still. I need to get my projects done and clean this place out. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a little update on 1394. I know it's not a uh, shocking, you know, transformation since the last video. It's pretty much exactly where we left off, other than the fact that I drug the cab out and tacked the floor into it. So, I mean, some progress is better than no progress at all, right? But, yeah, we'll get some work done on it here now that things are cooling off. I found another place to do, I think I found another place to do some sandblasting for me. So, hopefully, uh, We'll get that done. That's kind of why I started back on the cab. I want to get the cab uh, ready for sandblasting and I can take all my parts or they can come and do all the parts or whatever and then that'll be done um, rather than mess around with other stuff. So I like, I like to get the rims finished and the cab finished uh, so I can you know put the cab on and the rims on and um, put it back in the shop for the winter. That's kind of Kind of the, the first goal, I guess, to get to. But uh, anyway, yeah, I got a, like I mentioned before, but I got a ton of parts ordered for it that are just taking way, way longer than I anticipated. Um, I'm hoping we won't see the one year anniversary from the order date, but uh, it's approaching rather fast and uh, not much I can do about it really. Um, yeah. Uh, I've thought about buying another tractor for parts, but uh, I don't really want to do that. Um, I haven't had a ton of luck with <laughs> breakers over there in the UK. Nobody in Canada has any parts for this thing. Uh, I shouldn't say any parts. I mean, I got the doors uh, in Ontario, but there's nobody parting out a 1394 with a cab, and that's really what I need to find. Um, because I need like a hood and side panels and uh, a few other things and, and you just can't get them from another 94 series tractor. They have to be from a cab 3094. So I've been kind of out of luck there. Over in the UK now and uh, Ireland I guess too, All pretty much all the 3094s had cabs so it's a little bit easier to find the parts that I'm looking for. But I haven't had a ton of luck dealing with any of the breakers over there they well I, got, I hate to say it but they pretty much don't want my business so that's just how that's been going for me i got one place i think i talked about them last time i haven't called them yet they're kind of my uh last resort or whatever i hate calling places over there um i like places i can just email or whatever but uh obviously that's not working out so you know whatever Last guy, oh, this pissed me off too. Last guy, he posted he was parting out a. Let me put this up here. Last guy posted he was he was parting out a 1394. This is a like a, a well-known David Brown breaker type place. So he posted he was parting out a 1394 commemorative, and I told him I wanted the hood and side panels off it. Just let me know how much it cost. <laughs> Basically, I didn't care, and. Uh, he said, yeah, oh yeah, no problem. And uh, I never heard from him for a couple of days. So I messaged him back and I was like, uh, yeah, well, how's it going with those hood and side panels and stuff? And he's like, oh yeah, sorry, sold. So it's like, that's what you get, you know? That's what you get. And uh, that's not the first time. That was the third time that same place has done that to me. So that's, that's it for them. Um, I don't got time for that shit, so yeah. Anyway, that's uh, that's how it is, I guess. I uh, it's you know it's funny like these '94 series tractors and the David Browns, uh, they're pretty easy, easy to get parts for. But when you have to go to uh, the breakers or whatever to get parts for them, I mean I've found it to be basically impossible. Um, it's kind of weird actually, but anyway. Yeah, no, I don't, don't mean to vent on my frustrations or anything, but it's just. Uh, just how life is, I guess. So, anyway, guys, that's 1394, and uh, hope you enjoyed the update. I hopefully put a little video together again, maybe for next week, maybe a regularly scheduled video, maybe just an extra. I don't know. We'll see. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one, I guess.